After collecting all of those sources, we need to compile all of that information into an SPF record. And an SPF record is just a, a text record that we're going to publish in DNS, and it has a very specific format that we'll show you in the next slide. So, but each of those sources will either be an include. So in the case of the first section here, we have spf.protection.outlook.com. That's the include that you would use for Office 365. So in your SPF record, that's something that you will definitely need uh, since your email is hosted on Office 365. Uh, if you were sending emails from your web server, you may need that IP address, or you may have uh, like a range of IP addresses. Uh, for example, we have this, this CIDR range here uh, uh, that may be coming from a CRM. So after collecting all of those sources, then we have to create that SPF record. 